understanding the new birth, man's unending existence. That's what we're going to talk about today on Strength for Today. This Thursday, February the 6th, and again, I know this is nepotism, but it's a family thing. It's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday to my sister. May God bless you with many, many more. Understanding the new birth. We talked about two days ago man's undeniable sinfulness. Man's a sinner for all of sin to come short of the glory of God. Man's unsatisfied longings. Man's looking for something to make him happy. But the only thing that's ever going to make him happy is forgiveness from the Lord Jesus Christ. Today we're going to talk about number three. We must be born again because of man's unending existence. You're never going to die spiritually. You're going to die physically, but your spirit's never going to die. When your body dies physically, your soul is going somewhere for eternity. It's going to go to heaven or it's going to go to hell. Your soul will be in existence somewhere when the sun and the moon and the stars have dimmed and grown cold. You're going to live somewhere forever. You can bet your bottom dollar on that one. After this death, there is another life in heaven or another life in hell for those who are either born again go to heaven and those who are lost will go to hell for all of eternity, one place or the other. You say you're mighty dogmatic on that preacher. I believe that because the Bible says it to be true. If you've not been born again, you'll die twice. The second death is the lake of fire prepared for the devil and his angels. And those who follow Satan will go there. But those who follow Jesus will go to heaven. You're nearer death than you've ever been. I hope you understand that. You're one day closer to death than you were yesterday. And that's a fact. And you will die and you're going to exist somewhere for all of eternity. The Lord used to use right terminology when he said we're born again. Birth is something we all have experienced. And no one has ever gotten on this planet by any other means than by being born physically. The spiritual birth is many ways parallels to the physical birth. And we're going to look at those uh, at some other point in time. But it's, um, it's important to understand that you've got a physical birth, but you've got to have a spiritual birth. There's a day when you've got to give your heart and soul to Jesus. Why don't you make it today? For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ask him to save you today. It will be your strength for today and your hope.